holiday season, you still have a chance to make a big difference in the lives of strangers. One local organization says they will match your donation dollar for dollar. All of this going to Loaves and Fishes, a food pantry which expects to feed 77,000 people in the upcoming year. Our Gina Esposito shows us the difference that money really makes. Everything got wiped out. We lost everything. Cheryl Rasky and Jimmy Cavora survived Hurricane Katrina and two hurricanes in our area over the past few years. They admit it's been tough getting back on their feet. Two no. weeks away from a social security check yeah, yeah, that's with no that's food that. left, no crackers, you know, <laughs> nothing. Now you this, hear yeah, this crying. is life saving. For the second time in their lives, they're shopping at a Loaves and Fishes food pantry. Families who are referred get to shop for a week's worth of groceries. Savory chicken with wild rice. While many families give non-perishable food items, Loaves and Fishes uses donations to buy fresh food. We're standing inside a Loaves and Fishes food pantry in Dilworth, and when we open the fridge by noon, you can see there's only a half a carton of eggs left, so the need for healthy food is huge. The Levine Sklot Foundation announced it'll match donations dollar for dollar up to $25,000 donated to Loaves and Fishes through January 31st. It's a huge gift that will help stock 37 pantries with fresh fruits, vegetables, dairy, and meat next year. They're just eating food that's, that's saturated with fat and salt and sugar. In the long run, it's not helping their situation. For Rasky and Kavoris, they're grateful that people give so they can eat. I feel like us really don't know how to deal with it because we've We're always been on the other side of it, you know. But you just have to start asking. In Dilworth, I'm Gina Esposito, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. The need is great. If you would like to donate to Loaves and Fishes and have your money be matched by the foundation, we've posted a link on our WSOC News app. Just click on Gina's story.